Welcome to the channel where this week I paint the best model I've ever owned. So a few months back my friend Jim asked if he could sculpt me and convert me a car on a bike for my white scars force and I jumped at the chance because look at this. If you want to get something similar from Jim, it doesn't have to be a white scar, you can find him on the DZTV Discord as Stranger Come Knocking or on Instagram as Stranger Knocking Hobbies. This thing is incredible and I was very sad to actually cover up the green stuff because now we can't tell the difference between what's actually plastic and what's green stuff. But here it is sprayed in grey sear, which is the first step. The next stage is actually the start of the longest part of the entire process and that's base coating all of the primary colours. And we're starting with corn red for all the cloaks, plumes and, you know, the red bits. All those cloaks, apart from the stuff around the legs that were from the original jet bike sculpt, were added by Jim. And you cannot tell the difference at this stage, it's incredible. Next up, one of the longer stages of base coating, trying to put yellow over white. You'd think it would be quick, but it still took three or four coats. Just be patient, it's absolutely worthwhile. I did all the ropes and the back banner with this. Moving on swiftly, we've got to do all our mechanics with our old friend, Dark Aluminium from Vallejo. I don't usually have to use this colour when making my white scars, but I'm using Mornfang Brown for all the extra leather additions, the thongs and toggles and stuff that are holding on all the teeth and trophies. It's so well done. I also use this opportunity to base coat one of the birds. Moving on swiftly, we're going to do the black parts as simply as possible using Contrast Black Templar. Now if you're looking for a pure black, the new Black Legion paint is incredible, but I really like the contrast and variation that Black Templar brings, basically doing all my highlighting and shading for me. Absolutely worthwhile. And with this I base coated another bird. Breaking out a different brown paint with Rhinox Hide, I'm going to do all the furs and the final bird. I don't know if in this situation the birds are friends, pets, pests. I suppose it doesn't matter, they look cool as long as they don't go into the engine intakes. Hmm. Coming in with classic Xandri dust, we're going to do all the parchment and skulls, of which there is plenty of both. I didn't show the paint off because I forgot, but Retributor Armor Gold from Citadel is used for all the gold. There's probably a more artful way to explain that, but there you go. Some Rune Lord Brass on the mufflers, whatever they're called, just for variation, why not? Then for the skin, for the first time ever I used Gilliman Flesh, and I love it. It is incredible. I can't believe I haven't used it before. Highly recommend 10 out of 10, especially for white scar skin. The purity seals were done with Screamer Pink, you know the drill. Next I came in with Stegodon Scale Green, which is one of my favourite greens to do the handles of his katana and tanto, his handles of his bike and this cool little bedroll thing underneath all his voluminous cloaks. I then covered off his Khan spear, the power weapon, with some Yandan yellow because I do all my white scars with yellow weapons. I just think the amber looks awesome for this army and is a nice contrast colour. Anyway, Bram.
Thanks Bram, now for some shading that I'm not going to show because everyone knows how to shade, you just slop it over the bits you want to be shaded. Now onto some chipping, taking some faithful Rhinox hide and using some tweezers and a piece of small sponge that I've dabbed most of the excess off of, I'm going to dab it all over the white armour, focusing mainly towards the edges where chips would naturally occur. As I'm going I'm twisting the tweezers so the sponge isn't making the same pattern every time and it creates a lovely random effect. White armour is naturally hard which is why firstly I've gone with grey and secondly I'm damaging it so much because it takes away many of the imperfections that you might otherwise see and you know makes them a feature. Next up the step that is going to send this paint job to the next level, some Tamiya panel liner accent colour black. It comes with its own handy dandy little brush and it's an enamel paint so it should roll into the recesses nicely. It's uh, not doing that here, um, there we go, yeah so it should be doing that the entire time but uh, performance anxiety I guess. Now really you should gloss varnish before you start this stage because otherwise it seeps a little bit over the armour and creates a bit of a grey tinge but as I'm going for a heavily weathered and battle damage effect I actually want this. If you want nice clean lines you can achieve that by doing that gloss varnish and it will follow the recesses and nothing else. This just really breaks up that white armour and really creates some shadows that otherwise wouldn't be there or would be incredibly time consuming to add. Here we are with the bulk of our paint jobs done prior to the highlight and it's really starting to take on its final form. Next part of our weathering process we're taking some Agaros dunes, I did the base too, we're taking some Agaros dunes and we're going to do some nice streaky effects to show... When thinking about it I guess this is where he's hit bugs. I'm just going to say it's like oil and stuff. I used flash gits yellow to highlight all the ropes and part of the power weapon. Evil Sun Scarlet was my first highlight layer for all the red and generally I just gave it a nice side of the brush swipe down all the large cloak areas. This left the recesses a mix of corn red and that dark panel liner that I'd also thrown in there for good measure. Here we are after those two highlighting steps. Wild Rider Red then came in for some edge highlighting just to really pump up that contrast. Next up was a quick highlight of all the black areas, namely the bird, the hurricane bolters which I'm going to be using as auto bolt rifles or whatever it is that Khans have, and his hair and stuff. For the bird, and this will be true for all of them, I did kind of a semi dry brush, sometimes called an overbrush. Using Doomball Brown I highlighted the leather parts in the exact same way that I'd highlighted the cloak etc. And the bird was once again overbrushed just to give a nice effect leaving all the darkest areas uh, dark. <laughs> Bale or brown for the final edge highlights of the leather areas and for the brightest highlights of a couple of the birds. I once again forgot to show the paint but I came in with a mix of Zandri dust and pale sand from Vallejo to highlight the skulls. You can use your shabti bone here but mine dried up and almost as a sort of petty protest I didn't buy another. Then some administratum grey just on his cool top knot and the bird and his beard so not just the top knot. Then some pale sand to finish off those skulls for the brightest highlights. <laughs> I also threw some down the highest areas of the wings on this lighter brown bird and it gave it a really nice sheen because birds are generally quite glossy if you look closely. That sounded a little bit odd but the bird watching is a thing. Pink horror for the pink bits. Purity seals.
getting really bad at showing you the paint at this point, but some cover like green on his bedroll and the handles of the bike slash his weapon. Speaking of his weapon, using some pale sand to highlight the edges to make it look really sharp. And this thing is very sharp, I caught myself on it a few times. Next up for all his little screens and dials and things, some Caliban green to base coat and make it a nice saturated colour. I use some Calador Sky because my Thousand Suns blue doesn't cover very well anymore for some of the blue bits, highlighted it with Temple Guard blue. Then using some very thin Pallid Witch flesh, I covered up the rest of the head over the Gilman flesh. This is a two-step process that might have led to one of the best faces I've ever painted and I'm a little bit mad that it was this easy because I've struggled for so long, but this ended up looking great. I basically applied the witch flesh as a glaze and dragged it down towards the darker areas of the face and ensuring that the top of his head, top of his nose and eyebrows were the brightest. Oh, and his cheeks. You don't see it here, I also filled in his eyes with some pure Pallid Witch Flesh. Using some thin down black, this is where Black Legion actually would have been really good, I did some little dotty scribbles on his purity seals. After this step, all I had to do was add some transfers onto his back banner to show that he is, in fact, a white scar. And then I added some Vietnam Earth from Abtai Lung all over his bike to show the dust he's been flying through, and added some tufts and the same pigment to his base. Anyway, I've been Sam. And here he is.